This is how it. This is how it looks like when the card's ble um, bleeding itself. So right now the pumps pumping the water to the system because I replaced my water pump. So it's pumping all the air out of the system. Okay, so you can see the air coming out of there. And if you want to know how to turn on your um, your electronic water pump. Pretty much what you do, you go in the car, you step on your gas pedal, you put the key in, inside the ignition, and keep your feet on the gas pedal, and then turn on, and then push the button to start, or turn your key forward without turning on your vehicle, and then you're going to hit the pump turn on, and then let go of your feet from the gas pedal, and just wait 12 minutes while the car does the cycle, as it's doing right now. And then um, you put, you're supposed to overfill this thing. As you can see, this is way out here, and it's supposed to be down there. So once it's done with the cycle, you're gonna uh, siphon out the water out of here. That's um, that's not necessary. And then that's how you complete the process of bleeding out your car with an electronic um, water pump. Stop shooting water out. So that's how you do it. So I just wanted to show you a little demonstration on that, on how it looks like when your um when your car is bleeding itself out. So pretty much, I I, I like the process of uh the, the electronic water pump. As you can see, it's doing it again because it's going to do it for 12 minutes. This cycle is supposed to take 12 minutes because um, as long as you know how to turn on the water pump, it's pretty easy. You just let the car pretty much bleed the air out of the car um, on its own. See all that air in there? Because on the... On the E39, um, bleeding out the car, you have to do it manually because it's a uh, belt-driven water pump. And then it's getting all that air out of there. And um, pretty much, um, when you re um, when you're doing the water pump, when you're replacing your water pump, it's not that hard. There's only three screws: the two on the bottom and one on the top. The hard one is the one on the top. Let me show you an example. So there's one, two screws on the bottom, and there's that one on, on the top, right here, right here. There's one, and two, three. And this water pump's gone. Right here. So, looks like a turbo. So that's how you um, pretty much just um, bleed out the air bubbles out of your car if you have a electronic water pump. And uh, as you can see, it, the car is bleeding itself out. I'm not doing nothing. And there's nobody on the driver's side. So um, 
And if you guys have any questions or concerns, feel free to hit, uh, hit me up, leave a comment, uh, contact me through Facebook, and I'll try to uh, re reply to you guys' um, questions as soon as possible. And um, I wasn't able to make a video on replacing the water pump, but um, I'll make an I'll make another video if you guys need it. Just let me know. I'll make another video explaining the process and most of the tools you're gonna need. So yeah, that's about it. So see you guys on the next video. And um, and there's another video that I have in my channel to show you guys the the symptoms when your water pumps out. That so you guys could check that out when your water pumps out you'll know because your fan will spin like crazy like a it was an airplane that's giving you indication that your water pumps out okay so see you guys later